Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be, well basically we're going to be doing some mental skill farming to basically upgrade the mental skills and what that basically is, is it's found in the bottom tab, cultivation, martial arts and mental skills. So first of all before I start well going on about this stuff i would explain how the mental skill system works. So in order to activate one of these mental skills, what you need to do is first click on one, whichever one you want. Say, for example, you wanted to click on, say, this one. And what you'd need to do is you'd have to upgrade these to level 10. Once you've gotten to level 10, you will be able to activate them. It, what will happen once you've done it is it will come up like this saying active. So you can see if I click on one of the ones I haven't got yet, it says inactive. Once you've maxed them to 10, all three skills that are, well, whatever skills are, that are located for this one, it will come up active. And then you will be able to click well, you'll be able to click on it like this and click on the Equipped Mental Skill tab at the bottom of the page. And it will say Equipped. So that's how you would equip and unequip any one that you want. So you see down here, it says I have one out of two, which means I have two slots available. Now, when you start off, you can only equip one mental skill at a time. To obtain more slots, what you would need to do is you would need to purchase first one of these. And what that does is that gives you the second slot. After you've got that, you will need to obtain one of these to unlock the third slot. At this point in the game, the maximum amount of slots that you can upgrade, well, that you can unlock, are free. So once you've got one of these and then one of these, you'll, you'll be able to use them and unlock free slots. So now I've gone through that, you now know how to obtain mental skills. Next, how do you go about upgrading them? It's actually quite simple, really. Let's say the one that I wanted to unlock next would be this one. What you do is you click on this tab here. In case you didn't see what I clicked on, I'll tap around so you can see. Click on that. Well, not that one. Go for this one. We'll click on that, right? And um, you can see some of these I've maxed, like this one, and some of them I haven't. So you can see on here it says level 10 out of 10, which means I've maxed this skill for, um, for this mental skill. However, this one's only at 9 out of 10, and this one's at 7 out of 10. Now, to upgrade this to level 10 and basically max this class, what I would do is I would need to obtain this stuff which is mental skill comprehension primary and then for the blue ones you'll need this stuff so how this works is after you've upgraded it it'll move up by one number so say this is at seven and i upgraded it so let's say i got 140 that I needed to upgrade this that number would turn to 8 and the bar would be empty just like the devil's palm skill is empty right now obviously I can't upgrade this any further because it's maxed so once this bar becomes empty you would have to use this stuff to fill that bar up so that would come up like this so what you would do is you'd click on this this will use martial arts experience to fill that bar up obviously i can't do it for this one because it's already maxed but for this one i would be able to after i upgraded it so yep yeah, that's how that works now to get this stuff to fill the bar up which is the first thing you're going to need to do you can get that through one of a couple of things i believe 
One of them is mental skill, experience, insight, this tab here. I'll tap around it so you can see when I'm clicking. And you see it says they have 33 altitude. Well, 333 altitude, I mean. Now, how that works is the more martial arts and the more in internal skills that you have unlocked on your character, the more altitude that you obtain. And you can use that to obtain a large amount of this. You know, I've already claimed mine for today, so I can't claim it, claim it again. So let's show you in more detail how that works. See, it says here that I've got 333 altitude. That's because I've unlocked all of these. It doesn't matter what upgrade you've got them to, I don't think. I think it's just about unlocking them. So I've unlocked all of them for my martial arts. And for my internal skills, which is round here, you should be able to see where I'm tapping. I've got all these unlocked. And I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe this also counts towards the altitude. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. I know the martial arts does, and the internal skills might, but I'm not too sure about that. However, once you've done that, you can claim the experience needed to upgrade, well, to fill up the bar on the mental skills. And the other place you can get the um, experience from world of minions by completing these doing chapter one two three all the way up and all of its stages you will collect even more of those experience after getting that you're obviously going to need the comprehension to upgrade it by a level and that's what this video is all about sorry if um this talking part's gone on for a little bit of a while but I thought I'd go through some of the basics so that people who don't know how it all works will have some idea on how it works. Now, to farm for the comprehension that you need to be able to upgrade them from like level one to level two after you've filled up the bar with the um, experience stuff, you can easily farm them from this event where I'm tapping now. And by competing in here, you'll be able to get this stuff, the green ones, and you can get the blue ones as well. Sometimes you can get around 50 of them a day. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, before I do that, there's one more thing that I want to make sure everybody's aware of, because a lot of people forget about this. Now, you see I have 177 bound gold, as well as loads of bound silver well what i tend to do because most of the stuff on here aren't that important to me is i claim all of these in bound silver by clicking on them one at a time until i've claimed them all but i don't click the claim all after you've claimed all of these individually that you have available to you you can then go to bound gold and then you'll still see the claim all at the bottom now if you claim them all with bound gold it's going to cost you a lot of bound gold and you will get more rewards. However, if the stuff that you're getting is stuff that you don't really need, I would suggest to get them with Bound Silver. And then go to Bound Gold, if you have Bound Gold, and click Play More. What you will see is this bottom one. After claiming them individually, you'll see that you'll be able to claim something else here, but it won't let you claim it. What this is, is siege tokens. If you claim them with silver, which is the, on this tab here, you will get 160, I think it is, or 140. But if you claim them with bound gold, you'll get 200. And the reason I want to, I want to make sure that you're aware of this is so that you can go here, click on cultivation, click on martial arts, and click on... This tab here, I hope you saw it move, which one I clicked on, the uh, comprehension or something like that. Click on PvP, click on Siege, and here is where you can use the Siege tokens. 
a lot of people miss out on things like this so i want to make sure that everyone's aware of it i always get the internal gem packs because you can get gems which i don't need and um i think it's called ali g or something like that which is the stuff required to upgrade your gems so i get them just to help me out on continuing to grow my gems as well as getting this and this and there's several other stuff that you can get as well this one is pretty good for when you're starting the game it will allow you to fairly easily unlock um priest class and gambler chi which are two purple class skills and um you get a few pages from there so it's a good one to claim on a daily basis so uh yeah let's get into the video well into the event so first of all we're going to get the i think it's called comprehension and to get this you do demon challenge or server pvp now how this event works is there are bosses on this event there are yellow there are bosses that are circled yellow there are red ones and there are purple ones now i would suggest for you to go after the yellow ones and the red ones if you're a low might player because when it comes to the purple ones you need to have upgrade well you need to have obtained a lot of demons uh, i think it's called demon slaying state or something like that and what that does is it basically boosts the amount of your attack damage and your cert damage which basically means you can kill them faster now without that if you try to kill the um purple bosses which give you the most rewards you will basically run out of time you won't be able to kill it it won't be able to kill you but you won't be able to kill it which means you'll get no rewards so you would have wasted your time in this event now to participate in this event you're going to need demon challenge gold tokens you're supposed to get a free try a day if you spend money on the game and i'm going to show you what that is season passes you can get this one which lasts for a month or you can get one of these which is a season pass i normally get them but as of right now mine's run out and i haven't bothered getting one for a couple of months so this one would cost 20 pound this one would cost just under 10 pound um, and that's for like the uk currency there are other ways to get this if you don't want to spend money on the game and i will show you how to do that now now you can get them from here they only cost 50 bound gold so it's not that hard to obtain however you do need to be quite strong to be able to obtain these now to obtain bound gold and loads of it what you really want to do is be strong enough if possible to participate and complete this event throne of jinzu so how this works is on monday after 10 o'clock which is today's monday so i've got to remember to queue for this otherwise i'll miss it for this week what you do is after 10 o'clock you queue for this by clicking register because that will become available after 10 server time and um, you participate in this event if you can make it through all the battles on this event then you'll be able to place in the semi-finals which starts on wednesday i think for this one you might have to queue just before 10 or just after 10 i can't remember and uh when you queue for the semi-finals one you at the moment how the game works is you will automatically be placed in the finals so i think for the semi-finals what you have to do is queue just before 10 so i would queue at 9 59 and then as soon as it hits 10 you will be placed automatically into the finals even if you're losing the finals you will still get i think three thousand bone gold so if you can get through this then it's not too much of a problem 
you do get quite a lot of weak players on there as well as strong players. So I would suggest that you wait until after at least the first 10, 15 minutes because most of the strong players will be queuing for this event either at the beginning as soon as it starts, which is going to be around 10 to 10, 15, or at the end because some of them will choose to participate in realms, which means they may queue at like between half 10, quarter to 11, or between quarter to 11. Uh, between quarter to 11 and 11. So um, I would suggest start queuing for it around the middle because that's where you've got the better chance of going up against more lower mic players and that will give you a higher chance to get into this event. For example, when this event starts, I normally queue at the beginning. So if you're in the queue, when I'm in the queue, I'm quite a high might. I'm 1,310k with the um, martial arts and internals that I'm currently using. So if you was to be, say, for example, 500k or 800k, and you queued when I queued and we ended up fighting, your chances of winning would be very slim. But if you queued after me, then you might go up against a lower might player. And that means that you will have a better chance of winning. And this video is starting to drag on a bit, so uh, yes, let's just get into it. So at least now you have a way of being able to obtain the bound. Hang on a minute. The bound um, gold, so that you can now obtain these. Also, you can use bound gold to do the lucky wheel. I would suggest you to do this at this point in the game, because you can get this stuff. So if you have a lot of bone gold, this is also a really good thing to use it for. Because it will help you to unlock the Tai Chi Fist class, which is a defensive class. And that is basically this class, which allows you to put a shield on. And while this shield is on, which lasts for 5 seconds, any damage you receive will be given back to you as HP. This will only be able to block a certain amount of damage. So if it's a weak, unupgraded or uncultivated class... And you're up against a very strong player who's got like eco nine gold classes it may not be able to block it so you really want to unlock it and upgrade it so you can block all of their attacks for example if i'm up against someone that's at like 15 mil or 16 not well not 15 mil i mean 1 mil 600k might and they use dragon claw rage my defense shield won't work because their damage will be too high for it. And what I mean by that is... This is the skill. This is the maximum amount that it can block at the moment. So if they do over this amount of damage, my shield won't work. As you upgrade the class, it can block an even bigger number of damage. So, yeah... Also, there's another way to obtain those gold tokens for the event that I'm about to do. And I'm going to quickly show you that before I forget. It's not School Wars. It is... Where is it? Warzone. If you can place first within the one that you queue up in, well, the one that you get placed in. If you can get the first one, you'll get one of these. If you can place top, basically, rank one, you'll get one of these. And that's for player's reward. So in other words, you have to win all your battles. This event is available on Tuesdays. And then this is for guild rewards. So if the whole of your guild does better than every other guild, you'll get these types of rewards. So yeah, this video is dragged on, so let's just get into it. Now in this video, I'm just going to be um, doing the garden, uh, not the garden, the yellow and the red bosses, as well as maybe the escort caravans. There's escort caravans that travel around on the map that you can also destroy to get more rewards. Obviously, the purple ones will be better. You'll be able to get more rewards from them, but you've really got to be strong before doing them. 
Otherwise, you'll just waste your time and get absolutely nothing because you may not be able to kill it. So, yep. You can also use those tokens to increase your time in there. Now, because I'm not a monthly, well, season pass user or anything like that, I'll probably get less time than what others can. So, first thing I do, click on the map. I can see there's bosses here. Let's just do the bottom area first. Or should I go up? No, I'm just going to do the bottom area. Forget it. We're going to go back. Forget that. Straight onto this. And we're going to kill this one first. And while I'm attacking it, I'm going to have a look at which ones I want to do. So I can see there's purple ones over here at the top. I don't want to mess with them. I'm just going to be doing all the basic ones that even the low might players should be able to do. So I'm going to do these two down here and I'm going to work over here. Then I'm going to come back over to this side and do this area. And then I'm going to start making my way up. Which means I'll probably go that way and then this way. Okay, so let's just get to this one first. Then the next one I want to go to is that one. I'm already facing, I can see it on the map. got auto on i'm going to still be doing manual i can see that i haven't activated um a demon slaying stage yet i think you normally have to kill about two of them to activate it and the more of these you kill the more demon slaying stage you get and the more demon slaying stage you get the more damage you can do on these and at the moment my game's lagging quite bad Now how Demon Slain State works is it, like I said, it increases your attack and your cert damage. But it's all based on what your normal stats are and now I'm frozen for like 10 seconds. And this is the worst problem that I get on this game. There's now literally nothing I can do, it's just wasting my time. I get this in PvPs as well. Right, the only thing I can do to try to fix this is by dropping the quality. Problem is, though, most of the time that doesn't work. Not only that, when you're doing PvP, it's the problem with dropping the quality just to be able to do the game without getting as much lag is it also hides the shield, so when somebody's blocking, you can't see that they're blocking. And my ping's just shooting all over the place. And the ping is this here, which is basically supposed to be like your internet signal. If it starts going all over the place and dropping to zero, or up to high numbers, and going from green to yellow and red, then um, you're not going to be able to play the game without lag. And this is like the worst event to get this in because time's against you. So the last thing you need is to be losing like 10, 15 seconds every time. Normally I can kill loads of these very quick. But because of all this lag, it's taken me nearly five minutes just to kill this one. For a lower might player, it will take you longer to kill the first one. But don't worry about it. Because you do obtain Demon Slain State. Which is, when it lets me, that's it, demon killing. You see this icon here at the bottom right? That's what you get. That increases your damage. To start getting a high amount of them, you have to have killed, say, two or three. So you see I've only got one at the moment. I may get another two just from this boss. 
because once you've got one you start collecting more and more of them at a regular rate. And I'm using auto for this event because of the lag. Normally I do it in manual, but um, when you start lagging like this on an event like this, you want to make sure you have auto activated because at least then, even when the server lags, sometimes it will allow it to read a few seconds of damage that your character would have inflicted if the game hadn't lagged on you. Okay, this boss is low. I'm going to move this to the other side of the screen. Read some beans because I want to use this map. Right, we've got two at the top, two at the bottom. So we're going to go top first, then bottom, this side, and then we're going to run to the other side. I'm down to the last eight minutes. I've only killed two, which obviously isn't good. My demon slaying state is now up to three. See the bottom right icons on the left side of the top left of the screen? With the number three on it that tells me that it's now up to three i run around and collect these i'm going wrong way where we want to go now is up here here it is into auto and at the moment it's not letting me lock on and now i'm lagging so i can't hit him Literally, it took them five seconds to be able to hit him. Man, I hate this lag. <sighs> okay, so why do we do these boss killing? Well, I'll show you. If you click on system and scroll up, you see I've got five of those green ones just from killing them so I could upgrade upgrade a school class by collecting loads of those green ones. But it isn't just the green ones that you get. I'll see if I can find any others that I've picked up. And at the moment they're not on the screen. See what we pick up from this one. Okay we're nearly done. So now I'll take the auto actually I should put the auto back on until he's down. Without this lag, normally I get about 8 to 10 of these killed. Comprehension I see on the ground and that was a blue one. Oh no, stop going for that, I want to go for the boss. Right, and now it's lagging. My demon slain state is up to 7. You want it to go to 20 before you even attempt to um, do um, the green, uh, purple bosses. To do that though, you need to use additional tokens. Do you see this delay located up here? Well, that's how you can use additional tokens to increase your time. And I will use one for this, even though it's lagging, I'm not really worried about it. And now my character's just standing there. Point is though, my ping's low. So the hundred and three in green. 
so it shouldn't be lagging like this. My internet's on two bars, but it's always on two bars when I'm using, um, uh, what's it called? Is it 4G or something like that? If I use 3G, it's even worse, but um, the internet bar is actually on max for um, 3G. But it, because it's slower, it's not as good. It can't keep up. And that's the biggest problem I've got on here. 4G is faster, however, because it's um, only got two bars of signal, it's unstable. Whereas the 3G is more stable, but it's slower, so the game can't keep up with it. And to make it even worse, they updated their game and then merged the servers and the maps together. So the game bugs up and thinks that you're on one server that is actually closed. So um, you get the problem of the character running through the air and, and hitting invisible walls and stuff like that, which is all caused through overlapping the different server maps. Which can be annoying. You can see the effect quite easily of um, overlapping maps. If you do, um, for example, events, and the game crashes when you're doing adventure or anything like that. So you relog while your character's in the event. You'll notice that all of your chat windows from your messaging, you click on your messaging, your PM, you may have loads of these filled up, for example. I've got just these characters on at the moment. Now, if I was in an event and the game crashed and just completely froze, I could relog and sometimes it would allow me to continue in the However, everybody that was in my chat list will have disappeared. And now it's not letting me go after the boss, even though I was locked onto it. And basically what happens is everybody in your PM list will disappear and a new PM list will open. And anybody who messaged you while you was um, under, the inf under the effect of the bug will be in your chat list. So for example, if my game was bugged right now, it crashed, I relogged, and then somebody contacted me while I was in while I was in the event. Um what would happen is their chat window would appear in the in the um in my PM like these ones have in my whispers. And then when I relogged the game when I'm out of the event, their chat window would disappear. And that's caused because when the game bugs and you're forced to re-log, while you're in an event, it's called a cross-server because the events are capable of queuing with multiple servers. So you have two types of chat windows. You've got your own server chat window and then you've got cross-server chat window. And the problem with it is the more of those chat windows that keep popping up through the glitch on the game, the more your game bugs, the worse it'll lag. And now I'm stuck under the ground. I would go after one of these, but the problem is because of this lag, I'm not even going to bother, I can't move fluently enough to be able to go after it. Barely run. No, I can't even get up there. I'm gonna hit delay. I can probably get four more and because of this lag that's probably the maximum amount that I'm going to be able to get today.
Let's have a look at what I got for the last one. There we go. The last kill that I did gave me seven uh, mental skill comprehension. So that's for upgrading the um, blue classes. So that'd be things like um, Devil's Palm, Madeline's Dance, um, what else? Uh, Mount Hua, Fist of the Monkey, those types of classes. The green ones are for upgrading school classes. I believe killing the purple ones would allow you to get the um, purple comprehension skills. But to be quite honest, I don't normally do that. I just picked up five more of the blue ones. As I can see at the bottom of my chat, for my system chat. My demon slain state is now up to 19. The maximum you can get it to is uh, 20. You know the delay I used, you can use that twice, so I could use it again if I wanted to, but at the moment I won't. I just stick to using one each time I go in. And there's no point in me using two of them when, there's, when it's lagging this bad. But basically, your first entry that you go in, you basically use that time to build up your demon slain state and then you increase you use the delay so that you can go through and get as much of the rest of the bosses as you can before you that way you've got say 10 15 minutes to build up your demon slain state and then another 10 15 minutes of getting as much kills as you can i can't See, I'm using attack and it's not letting me attack it because of the lag. I want to kill one of those just to show you what happens when you do. Priest class is, the, well, in my opinion, one of the best ones for it. You use your normal attack, then follow it with a grab and inflict a fair amount of damage. Then you can pick up these stuff. I picked up 10 for killing that. And now I'm stuck. There's literally nothing I can do. Game's crashing. There's supposed to be a boss here. That might be the one I just killed. Let's check over here. You see how there's a drum? It's not going to let me attack it, unfortunately. Because of this lag. It took me ages just to hit it. Because it can't detect... Well, it couldn't let me lock onto the um, drum, unfortunately. See, I can't lock onto it. Let's do it. No, I can't hit it. Come on, let's go down there. Okay, sometimes they're from their treasure chests. Look at all this. It took me this long just to try to get over here to kill this. And now I bet it won't let me attack it. I hate lag. Just so unfair that it keeps lagging like this. But yeah, um, what those drums are for is... It's not going to let me show you. It's for summoning one of these purple bosses, I believe. At least I think it's one of those purple bosses. Or maybe even a different boss. So um, when you've broken all the drums, or sometimes it's treasure chests... And they're normally found around where warlords used to be. Well, where these bosses used to be. So after killing them, if you go back around the areas, they tend to have some sort of drum or treasure chest or something like that. You normally have to search around the map and break about ten. Well, yeah, break about ten of them, and then um, a new boss or something is supposed to appear. Killing it will allow you to um, get a decent amount of good stuff. I 
I'm trying to check what this is. That's my man, uh, skill, HP skill. Unfortunately, with all this lag, I can't really check what the drums do for this event. Because it's just going to cause too much data interference if I keep trying to load everything. Now I can't even lock on to I've clicked on him several times, but because of the lag, it won't let me. My character's now just... All I can do is leave it for auto. All that time just to try to lock on to him. The worst thing about this lag is when you're having spa matches against people, everybody keeps trying to tell you, oh, you're a bad PvPer because you can't change your skills or you can't use your jump skill or you can't move away or you can't block an attack. And it's not that you can't. It's easy to do. You hit the block and you should block the attack. When I said hit the block, I was actually holding the block. And look how long it took for it to trigger. And now my character's just standing still. And this is in auto. And now it's just frozen. But yeah, it's not that I can't block and stuff like that. It's quite literally that the game won't let me. And now I'm just stuck in frozen screen. If I try to run, that happens, I can't use sprint, because if I do, it, that happens. And now I'm stuck. I just need to be able to get that, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to walk there, I've got no choice. If I try to use sprint, it won't, it'll just keep doing this. I've got no choice. That absolutely sucks. Every time I try to use sprint. Okay, I'll stand still for a bit. How long though will I have to stand here before it'll let me use sprint? No, it's it's not gonna let me. The problem with this is you report it to the developers that there are these problems where it keeps teleporting you to different parts of the map and then there are certain areas on the map you can go to without the game bugging up and certain areas you can't. For example, this event is very laggy right now. If you do Throne of Jinzu, no, it's not Throne of Jinzu, it's a World of Minions. If you do that, it'll lag very badly. If you do add these, it lags very badly. And there are certain areas on the, the open map where it will lag very badly as well. For example, if you go to the Ling school map, um, it lags like every time I go there. So if I go there and I'm around that building, what happens is you get a line which appears down the middle. I'll tap the area, it, go, it appears here, down the middle, and then across. From the middle all the way to this side and then so that gives you um the top right quarter and then what happens is that top right top right quarter moves away like it like moves up slightly kind of like a jigsaw puzzle it's like somebody's pulled a puzzle out and then it just crashes and you explain this to um the developers and they don't do absolutely nothing about it I think I may have actually uploaded a video that actually showed you the um, that break line. Sometimes it appears down the half of the screen. Water. Sometimes it's just um, a smaller corner piece. Sometimes it's three quarters of the screen. And as soon as you get that line and a little pull away, like somebody's pulled a piece out like a jigsaw puzzle, it just crashes there and then. And the it is they always say 
for every gamer on this game that it's our problem it's our internet it's our ping my internet signal is low on 4g but not everybody's is i'm, I'm going the wrong way However, the speed of my internet isn't low. Not only that, um, if it was... I'm going to have a look. This is what I want. The boss there, it's not letting me hit it. Not only that, if it was a problem with my signal, then why is it that it will let me run on the map, but it won't let me sprint? Why is it that sometimes I can move around on the map, but as soon as I hit attack, it just freezes. How come sometimes when you enter an event, it just crashes? So you can move around on the open map, go to the NPC to enter, say, a World of Minions, click on the NPC, enter the event, and then crash. Why does it do that? If it's my, if it's if the problem is completely my fault, if it's my internet. If it was my internet, it would be crashing constantly and not just when you enter certain events. The truth be told, though, is the problem is the developers, they're aware that there's a problem on this game, but they don't know how to fix it. That's the biggest problem. They don't know.